Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim. Welcome to Morning Chat. Here we go again. And before we do decisions, decisions. Uh, before we have coffee, before we do anything, you know, we got to make our bed. Which we've done that. We've done all that. Now there's new decisions that I have to make every morning. It just depends on what color shirt I'm wearing or what color belt I'm wearing. Let me turn the camera around. I'll show you about the dilemma I've got. All right, here we go. So we got some shoes, baby. One thing I got, plenty of shoes. We got black. We got white. We got navy. I guess that's navy and that's black. I, don't, I can't see very well. And we got this beautiful brown. Look at these shoes. So which one do I wear? Well, we know... Brown would definitely go. Hang on. That's the new color. Uh, it doesn't matter what you wear it with. Uh, these go with, with everything. And we certainly know white matches. But I think these new navy ones that I bought are going to be the, uh, the match today. They got a little brown on the inside there. Uh, and I got a brown belt on, but... Only geezers tuck. I'm not tucking. So, uh, and black is definitely not with navy. So we're going to go with these babies. All right, so we, thank you for helping me make that decision. Uh, I have some socks right here. I'll put those on in a minute. And I've got a little bit of coffee left. I'm going to make another pot. Let's turn some lights on the subject. And we've got our doohickey ready to go our baconator is ready it's going to be a simple no mess no fuss no muss breakfast we don't have to get involved with this and it, let me back out for you guys all that's going to be staying clean and grease free this is no muss no fuss takes a minute and i've got a couple of things that i need to wash i already had one cup of coffee this morning and I'm trying to decide, do I go with Maxwell House this morning or the gold? Uh, and we're going to talk about it. Be right back. All right, we're back. And uh, we got our Go to Hell shoes on this morning. I think they match very well with the, uh, sorry about that bounce around, the khaki shorts. Look at this. I can't walk around anywhere in this darn camper without running over shoe boxes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I like shoes. What did I do with all them other ones? Get, believe it or not, they have a shoe uh, drop-off at the Walmart right in front, right after the car wash, right in the parking lot right there. And I just take the... Uh, <clears throat> I'm down to those four. I'm a minimalist, folks. Minimalist. I only need four pair of shoes. <clears throat> not six or eight or a whole closet full. But... You got to have at least two in different colors, and in my case, four. <clears throat> now, let's, uh, as we talk here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause that and put my mic on because when I, oh, perfect. One more cup is what I had in here. So, we got to talk about, don't let me forget, we got to talk about breakfast, diet, golf. My fan over there, uh, all kind of stuff. That's two minutes. Let me set the timer on this so we don't go overboard and uh, get my mic on. I'll be right back. All right. Hope you didn't have to wait long. <laughs> there it is right there in all of its beauty. Got two mics. I actually got three mics now. So... I got up at 5 this morning, and I made uh, one cup of coffee because it was already made from last night. And uh, before I did, though, I was reading the comments, <clears throat> and I wanted to say this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you that take the time uh, to comment. I read a lot of your suggestions about the carnivore diet, uh, telling me that you voted for Trump, and um, a lot of things I can't think right now, but I didn't answer them because it was so early in the morning and I'm answering them now. 
but um, a lot of you are very good about comments. I see a lot of different usernames now uh, showing up in the comment section. And thank you so, so much for um, taking the time. You don't have to comment, you know. People watch these videos on YouTube and, you know, they just move on. But to take the time to say something nice, um, a personal message to me, and, and it's very encouraging to me. And it really keeps me uh, going with this uh, YouTube business. So um, uh, what was one of the ones that I wanted to mention? Well, that'll just lead me into what I want to talk about now. Let's make some cream in this. I got another whole new one um, when I uh, finish this one here. Um, I'm 204 pounds. This is three weeks today. And I am absolutely still fat and still weigh the same amount of weight. Something, it's either this or cheese. Okay, I eat plenty of dang cheese, so... Maybe that's what it is, but I'm getting tired of it, and I'm not, I'm not achieving my goal. Let me raise you up a little higher. My goal is to lose this belly and <clears throat> have my chest more cut. There's a lot of, I forget what they call it, your BML, your BM something, your body fat percentage. And I got more than I need. I don't want to be skinny looking. You know, I like thickness and, and muscle, but <clears throat> clothes hide a lot. Uh, and I just don't get how three weeks, and it's the same thing that I did years ago on Atkins, which is the same darn thing. And I lost 30 pounds. Now, I did do the elliptical a lot more, <clears throat> the cardio, sorry about my voice, <coughs> at the gym. I was younger, much younger, uh, but this isn't, don't get mad at me. I know a lot of you out there are serious carnivore people, and you're not calling it a diet. It's a, a way of life, and there's other things and all that. Wow. Wow. Man, I had one cup already. It was the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. This one, this one's even better. I'm telling you, that is good coffee. Uh, I got to make another pot. I'm going to go with Maxwell House, I think. Maxwell House from Miss Raffaella. That's the best cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. Man, I love coffee. Got a little egg cooker here. Isn't this thing cute? I know I'm getting off topic. Look at this little bitty thing. And last night, guess what I did? I know I use the word starving. Sorry to tick you off. Um, <clears throat> Tim, you should never be starving. You should have this. You can eat that. Have these ready to go and snack and eat 16 times a day and... I find myself in between where I, I don't have anything at my disposal to eat. I stay out a lot. Next thing I know, hey, my brain says, you're hungry. You're hungry as hell. So I came home last night. I, I tore up those pig skins. And then I cut some cheese because I got a big block of cheddar cheese for the hamburger meat and for the omelets and stuff. Cheese has got to go. Is this got to go? What is making me fat? Why am I not already 10 pounds minimum in three weeks on a starvation diet? Of It's not really starvation because you cannot get hungry on this diet. And I call it a diet. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you cannot get hungry because supposedly you can eat all the darn meats and proteins and, uh, you know, eggs and bacon and all that you want. And that's what I understood from the Atkins diet years ago. I knew people that got up and made a whole package of bacon in the morning. And my blood work's going to be ready in a couple of days. I can't wait to find out what the blood levels of cholesterol and this and that and the other are. Um, <clears throat> because I was on this diet for a couple of weeks. I know, I'm calling it a diet. Uh, before I went and got blood work the other day. I guess my results are in on my biopsies of my skin because I got an email 
tell me to fill out some portal that um, I can find out, but I'm just going to call them. All right, so I'm not going to pee and moan about the diet uh, because I'm still doing it, and there's, I'm just going to cut the cheese out. Uh, I'm done. No more cheese. That's good coffee. I'm not cutting that out. Um, all right, let me back up. I did talk about the comments and how much I appreciate the comments. And uh, they're very encouraging to me. They keep me going. All right, I got that. And then uh, I already showed you my shoes, right? <laughs> oh, well, let's make some breakfast. <clears throat> yeah, he's got it. Let me introduce you to the O-Polar fan. So uh, these hang above my uh, headboard. I have two of them. I bought them when I had a Toyota 4Runner uh, years ago. I was getting ready to go out to Moab. Check out that video of 4Runner Conquers Hell's Revenge. I took a brand new truck, drove to Utah, climbed on these rocks, and the abyss was on both sides of me. And it's, it's, it's cringing to watch. Uh, I could have, it would have took a helicopter to get me out of there. I made it. And uh, a stock Toyota 4 room. Anyway, I was going to sleep in the back of it and camp out in it. And I needed some kind of ventilation. So I bought this. This is the 8-inch Opolar fan. It was quickly sold out to another brand. But it was the same thing. It has a lithium battery. That'll run two days. It's an incredible battery in here. <clears throat> so I charged it last night. Uh, and I'm going to charge uh, the other one uh, afterwards. But you can articulate this thing. And any has this big old alligator clip. You can hang it on anything. Why am I telling you about it? I don't know. It's just it was here. And uh, I wanted to charge it last night. But I got on YouTube when I first started out with my Forerunner. I literally got tens of thousands of views <clears throat> about a fan. People like these battery, lithium battery fans. Uh, fans are, I never knew they were that popular. I don't even use it much anymore. Uh, Fred and Raffaello were using it back there. I have two of them. And uh, mostly they just sit there. But if I'm boondocking or something and it's warm at night, I don't have my AC and I never boondock, but you know, I did once then I can use these, and it does help. It makes a big difference uh, to have you a fan. All right, this is going to run out of the um, first clip because i got to put a couple clips together, and then I'm going to make another one. So get ready for... Are we on part one right now? Okay, get ready for part two. Here it comes. Crush it! <laughs> 